So how do we make a great press even better? That's what we're gonna see in this video. Guy Miner here from ultimatereloader.com. It's no secret how much I like this press, the Forster Coax, and how much everybody here at Ultimate Reloader likes this press. Seems like a lot of folks that are interested in some precision rifle reloading have gravitated towards the coax over the years. In this video, we're gonna go into the kit contents for installing these new C links, these curved links, and what the benefits of them are, and we're gonna to come to some conclusions about these. What this kit from Forster does is it allows us to open up the front of the press for easier access to the workspace. What comes in the kit is really pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. We've got our curved linkage plates. They're gonna replace the existing straight plates. Comes with a good set of instructions and comes with the E-clips or C-clips, whichever you wanna call them, that hold the plates in, in place. So, let's go ahead and install this. So the first thing we have to do is remove these E-clips. I like to do that using a flat bladed screwdriver. It's important to wear your safety glasses because these little clips can, uh, they're like spring loaded. They can go bounding out of there in crazy directions all of a sudden. Um, put a thumb or a finger on it, that helps hold this thing in place so it doesn't go crazy on you and wind up halfway across the workspace. One. There's two. Just have to move the press arm just a little bit and wiggle that off of there. There's the straight one off and on with the new linkage plate. This top pin, by the way, moves and sometimes it's a little bit of work to get everything lined up. There we go. All right, we're gonna reinstall these C-clips. I like to use a pair of pliers for this. It sort of helps me get pressure on both sides of it. Done with that side. Repeat on the next. Okay, remove the last one here. And that one's off. Notice we have to put the end with the little uh, nubbins that are poking out here. We have to put that up on the top. Okay, that's on. on with our E-clip and the bottom one as well. That's it, I know, really tough installation and uh, we got her done in just a few minutes. So the kit comes with four brand new E-clips. I went ahead and reused the originals because after you've taken them off and on a couple of times, they actually get easier to use. So the big advantage 
to these curved linkage plates is, of course, this improved access to your workspace up here, which is real handy in the case of the, the Forester because we've got these jaws down here that do need to occasionally be removed, replaced, changed out, or just serviced. So makes it easy to do that. You can get your hands in there without banging up your knuckles. I'm going to go ahead and size and deprime a few 7PRC cases like we were doing in the video we had on reloading the 7PRC on the same press. Take that cleaned and lubed case and then we're going to go ahead and run it on up in there. I already noticed how much easier it is to access this workspace. Run it on up here into Forster's very nice bushing sizing die. Pop that primer out. There we are. Forster talks about some of the benefits of this is that you can reload a little faster. I think that's probably very true. It's certainly easier. I didn't think there was any uh, issue with the old ones, but I have to admit there's a pretty active bunch of Forster enthusiasts online and they've been praising this uh, curved linkage style for some time. They've been available in the aftermarket. Now you can get them straight from Forster. I think that's a nice advantage too. Certainly makes the work easier. Honestly, for about uh, five minutes worth of work and a few dollars to replace those, I think it's worth it. What I want to know is have you already switched over to the curved linkage plates or is that something you're just learning about? Um, if you have, drop a comment and we'll have a discussion about those plates and what you're using them with. So that concludes this video and it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you want to learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're going to want to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.